It's great that we have a Hello World component now rendering through you in its own library and we have a better architecture, but kind of looks a little bit ugly, doesn't it? We are gonna want styles at some point in time in our applications. And uh, to do that, we need to pull in some kind of system for handling CSS. Uh, let's go take a look at the documentation for you. Uh, they actually have a section talking about CSS However, in the current version of you, there is nothing really set up for it yet. So we have to actually come down here to more. And in CSS, we'll notice there's a big to do for this. Now I am looking at 0 0.19 documentation. Um, there could be uh, CSS stuff built in in the future, but for right now, uh, it's not here. So they have some suggestions for what to look at. What I've ultimately settled on and what I um, what we're going to go through in a course here is something called Stylist. So we're going to click on this and head on over to the Stylist repository. So what Stylist allows us to do is use a, um, a CSS macro to write styles directly inside of um, our, our REST code. This is going to be very similar to what we see in Vue.js where we have the styles, the JavaScript, and the HTML all inside of one uh, file, um, we're now gonna have that in, in our code here. Uh, it, there is a way to do it more similar to React where we have maybe like a separate CSS file that we can pull in and then apply to our REST and we're gonna get to that in a future video. For right now, we're gonna use the in-style component which is what Stylist suggests. So to begin with, we're gonna go ahead and bring in the latest version of Stylist. We always get a little bit of those errors every time that I, I save, especially as it's uh, parsing as I'm writing things out, uh, which causes it to have, you know, little tiny bits of errors. It's it's not it's not a problem as long as it doesn't error out after you finish uh, typing and save it. So REST Analyzer is bringing in Stylist and sort of understanding what this is. Uh, we're gonna open up our main library and we're gonna do our style stuff here. Now, the first thing we need to do is change this from a function component to a styled component. So we're gonna use uh, stylist. Uh, let's see where, oh, I'm just gonna use Rust Analyzer's auto complete here. So this is a style. It actually has it written down here. Oh, it's stylist U, styled components. That's what it is. So use stylist u. Uh, if it's not finding things when I'm trying to bring it in, it's quite possible that it's behind a feature that, uh, that we need to add in. So if we wanna go find like what features are available to us, uh, let's actually go take a look at the documentation for stylist here. Go find uh, you, actually, I think I just saw it on that page. But here, this is supported on create feature U only. So we need to add, we need to activate the U feature. Okay, so back to Cargo Tamil. Uh, we're gonna use a different style here where we're gonna say, version equals this, features equals an array and u. Rust Analyzer is gonna update, and now we should be able to pull in uh, stylist u. Let's try this again. So stylist u, styled component, and we're gonna update this to styled component, and this is gonna be the same app. So it's exactly the same as that function component that we have from you. It's just wrapping around it and gonna allow us to use the style macros. 
inside of here we want to create our style. So uh, I'm pulling in the style also from stylist here. Um, and inside of here, we're going to create a um, uh, just a string that holds our styles. So we're going to use a r uh, pound, and then I can use quotes, and then end like that. Actually, I don't need the end semicolon. Uh, this now allows me to write a string. So this is a, uh, a nifty little um, rust way for us to just create stirs that are multi-line, and um, uh, it's, it's pretty nice. Okay, so what do we want to do? The way we want to style this, we want to duplicate what we have in our index.html where we have this color white. So I just want to set this color um, to be white. Uh, now I want to apply this to, uh, uh, to this HTML. So we're going to use um, class equals, and uh, then we have our choice. Like I, I need to, I can just go straight for the style sheet. And uh, styles error is not, okay, so you, oh, I see this result. So let's do a really quick unwrap on this. That's gonna give us a style here for the style sheet. I'm not getting any errors. No errors showing down here. When I run my code, um, I'm still getting the white text here, but also at the same time, this index.html still has this color white, so we're gonna delete that. And just to make sure that this, is, uh, this actually is styling it the way we expect it to, let's change this from white to something like orange. And there we go. Okay, so it actually is styling. Let's take a look at what's happening behind the scenes because this might feel a little bit strange the way it's working. So to begin with, in the head, we're getting a um, let's see, that's our style that we created manually. There is another style down here. So we can see a style tag with this data style, stylus dash, and then just a bunch of random uh, uh, random characters. Um, and it's now linking this dot stylist class. So this, it created the same class, the same string. And then this is where our styles get applied. Now down here, our h1 tag got this class applied to it. So you notice I just put color orange here. I didn't have to like add in a tag or anything, which can be a little bit disconcerting because what if I will have something a little bit more nested? What if I want to apply, what if I want to have maybe like a, a div here? I want to have our H1 as something in here, and maybe we're gonna have like a P tag with like, um, more text. More text goes here. Now, let's say I want to have a color orange for H1, and then I want white for the p tag. Well, I might think about putting this inside of all h1s, have this color orange, and I want a p tag to have color white. This is valid CSS. And if we come and look at the, the head, 
once again, we now have H1, color orange, uh, and then P, color white. Okay, so that's that's great. Um, but my class, I now need to move this up here. Now, if we come back to our CSS, we now have our title orange, and then the other text is white. Um, this is this is going to be the preferred way that we're going to style our classes. Uh, we're going to wrap it in some kind of um, container that we're going to add the class onto for the style sheet, uh, and then have everything underneath it. To style the div itself, we would have to so, you know, we would have to add in something else, um, like maybe like over here, which is not normally what you would see inside of um, inside of CSS files. So this makes it valid CSS that you can move between uh, projects, even back and forth between uh, U projects, and uh, it'll just work the way you would expect it to. And that is an introduction and in getting started with Stylist. Um, if um, uh, I thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.